Hi there YouTubers, welcome back to my channel Workshop Fun. I just want to post an update about my metal lathe and the stand. Since my last video I have added a bottom shelf and that's purely for the stock and some tooling but it's handy having that there for stock. I've also added some commercial lino into each shelf and on the back of each shelf. It took me a long time to get that up the back but hey it was worth it what that means though is it stops any scratches in the paint or any dents in the wood it gives it a lot more protection now I also have done another little thing across the edge of the lino I put this wooden trim across it and screwed that in instead of having screws just underneath there holding the lino which didn't look very professional this gives it a much more professional feel and just sort of ties the whole stand together nicely with the lino. It makes it just look like a complete unit rather than the lino on top of the stand. It's tying it all in nicely. Now, one other thing I did too is when you're working on a lathe, you want to be able to just put the tool down, but you want to know it's somewhere all the time where you can easily get at it. So I made this nice tool holder. And it just simply slides in there. Now I had to make the tool holder quite long because the um, the tool for the chuck, the chuck key, I should be calling it, it is actually quite long, and it's a decent sort of solid one, and it needs sort of something to hold it there nicely next to the lathe. So I built that. The other thing I've done just recently, which actually took quite a lot of time and a little bit of figuring out is I've built this, what would you call it, a motor guard. It's designed so any swaft that is coming off the lathe doesn't go straight into the motor fan. So what I've done is I've built it out of two pieces and when I need to service the motor I can simply disattach this and turn around and work on the motor if I need to, which I don't think will happen very often. But the options there and then the second piece is just screwed straight onto the backing now to seal this against the motor so there's no chance of any swaft getting in there I've put this rubber seal across and on the edge of the alloy guard there is also quite a bit of lino that comes off it's quite hard to see sorry um, but one moment I'll just see if I can get it taut sorry about this So there you go, there's quite a bit of lino and it comes down close to the lathe, about 10mm from the lathe, so swath can still fall down there easily. There you go, but there's no chance of swath flying into the motor. Now, I had quite a bit of that commercial lino left over from the shelves, so where these four screws are, one, two, three, four. There is some long blocks underneath there holding the lino in place, and this bit of rubber just tucks into the top of the lino on this side and comes right back to here, and it's just providing a complete seal around the motor. And the lino presses up against the top of the motor too, but nothing is inhibiting the cooling fan for the motor, which is good. So now I can use my lathe confidently without worrying about swath going into the motor which could be quite destructive on the bearings and the armature and all of that. The last thing that I have done um, on the lathe stand was basically making that swath guard for the motor and also turning around and just levelling it out. That was actually quite a hard job. Um, the stand itself was built very level but the ground that the stand sits on was quite unlevel so I cut out little one mil wooden shims and just jacked up each leg and I used my machinist level and I got it very very true so now basically the slave is ready to rock and roll and it's extremely level and extremely good and from here on in I'll be starting to do some more bits with um, fabrication for things. One project I have lined up now 
is just a couple of little bits for my steamboat and after that oh, I'm going to do some other little bits but the main thing is, is yeah it's all ready to go thank you very much if you liked please hit the like and if you wish to please subscribe thanks